Yo, Elliot, I've been using anger to get a lot more work done these past few weeks. And I've been accomplishing quite a bit in terms of lead generation, sales, and refinement of my workout programs. The sentiment from which this anger proceeds is my parents. Long story short, for the entirety of my life, I live with my mom and my stepdad sporadically. I would often go and visit my dad, who was living with my grandmother at the time. I moved in with my dad and my stepmom only to find out that she was the breadwinner with three jobs and my dad had none. I specifically added, asked to move in with him to fill the gaps in my overall development, only to have teachings once a year in rage and anger for my lack of action. On my own now, and I've been using the anger towards my parents, never having built a solid foundation in my life to get more work done and build a foundation so if I have kids, they will never experience the same thing. I understand that my father has good traits I can use, but ultimately, is there a rabbit hole with this path that you would caution against? Yes. I would caution against all of it. And so what's required is forgiveness. You got to forgive. You got to forgive. You got to forgive both of your parents and you got to forgive your father and you got to forget. It's our emotional attachment. So the modernists through, you know, the modern day confessional, which is psychotherapy, they want you to explore everything about your parents. They want you to find out what happened to them and what they did and what happened to you and really analyze this whole drama. And it makes everybody feel special. Everybody feels special about their interactions with their parents and what their parents did. And it's a wonderful thing because it helps me understand me and it gives me license to be certain ways or so on and so forth. There's, there's, a, whole, there's a whole lot of uh, narcissism involved with psychoanalysis. And we, when we live basically in a psychoanalysis world and it's all about you know, what happened with my parents. I think it's important to acknowledge your experience with your parents, but you're a man and you must move on. And the way you move on as a man, as it says in the Bible too, you take, you got to leave your parents. A man must leave his parents. You got to leave your parents, but in an emotional way. You can't have hangups about your parents. The fact that you have anger that you say that you're using to fuel your action is still a perversion because you have feelings towards your mommy and your daddy. When you grow up as a man, your love for your parents has to move from emotional love to logical love. From emotional, er I guess, I don't know what they call it, eros love, whatever, to filios love, something like that. You gotta move away from the feeling love to the charitable love. I love you because you are my parents and I, I not even love. It's not even love. It's not love. Respect. I respect you because you're my parents. You brought me into this world. And for that, I am grateful. But beyond that, any kind of emotional hang up is just going to keep you a baby. It's going to keep you a kid. And so the work really isn't analyzing and trying to figure it out. The work is how quickly can I sharpen this ax to cut this shit out of my life? And the fastest way to do that is through forgiveness. You cannot carry this anger for your parents and live a resourceful life. You have to say, I, I realized that you were wrong. I saw what happened and I don't hold it against you. You did the best that you could. I forgive you. They don't need to understand that type of love. No, Leroy, because it's not about them. They don't need to understand that. Most people don't get this kind of fatherly love. They don't understand fatherly love. Fatherly love is a stoic love. It's a critical love. It's a, it's a love that is expectant, meaning it wants good. It wants perfection. Unlike the mother's love, which will uh, be very tolerant of degeneracy. Your mama will love you even if you're a retard. Meaning not like literally retarded, but if you're a real jackass of a person, mama will still love you. Lazy, fat, 
useless boy, mama still loves you. Daddy's going to point out that you're lazy, fat, and useless because it's 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 a it's a objective love. Look, I and it's a real love. It's it's, it's more of a real love because it's especially if it's out of charity, meaning it's for your own good. And I'm not going to continue to uh, wallow in this angry wasteland because of your failings. And so I do us both a favor by forgiving you and loving you the way a real man loves, which is not emotional. So I'm going to leave it at that, but I hope that makes sense, dude. Done.